Let's consider the following data set. What we have is we have data on the U.S. population for every 10 years from 1790 to 1990. Each of these population values came from a U.S. census. Again, we have a set of data, and the first thing we want to do is to look at that data graphically, but we have to decide what graphical representation would be the best for the particular data set. We are going to use a time series plot to look at this data graphically. Why was a time series plot chosen? A time series plot is a great plot to show how a particular variable, in this case the United States population, is changing over time. A time series plot just graphs the time variable, in this case year, on the x-axis and the corresponding population on the y-axis. Once we have all of these data values plotted, then we just connect each of our plotted values. So let's go ahead and do that. In order to fairly graph the U.S. population, some rounding had to be done to the, num to the actual numbers of U.S. population. So in this table, we present the year versus the United States population, where the population has been rounded to the nearest tenth of a million. So all of the data values in this table give the population of the United States in millions. So the first thing we do when actually constructing the time series plot is to create our x-axis, our y-axis, the title of the time series plot, and label the x-axis and y-axis. Here, along the x-axis, we have time, which is a year in our particular data set. The y-axis represents the number of people, and we are graphing the U.S. population versus the year. Now we're ready to graph our data. In the year 1790, the total U.S. population was 3.9 million. So in 1790, our population was 3.9 million, and we graphed that point. One thing that we did not add to the label for the y-axis, which we need to do, it's the number of people in millions. So this 3.9 is not 3.9 people, it is 3.9 million people in the year 1790. In the year 1800, there were 5.3 million. So come down to 1800 and graph 5.3 million. In 1810, there were 7.2 million people. In the year 1820, there was almost 10 million, or 9.6. In 1830, there were almost 13 million people. The remaining data points have been plotted, and the last thing that we need to do is we need to connect the data points in a time series graph. And our time series plot is complete. From our plot, we clearly see that the U.S. population has grown each 10 years since 1790, and we can tell from the time series plot that this growth has not been linear. In recap, a time series plot is a very useful graph if you want to see how a particular variable is changing over time. In that case, your time variable goes on the x-axis, your variable that is changing over time goes on the y-axis. You need to include a title for your time series plot, and you have to make sure that you label your x-axis and you label your y-axis.